when we had a workshop here, I, I found it really interesting to, to bring people on stage uh, to listen to their view on, on uh, modern music and, and music in general. And um, I was really happy that some people joined me on stage and we could play from everything from all the things you are to a couple of my new songs and also your national theme. As a musician playing uh, many instruments, it's, it's easier to understand the different roles in the band. When, I, when I'm talking to the bass player, I know exactly what he's capable of doing technically or harmonically. And then I, it's easy to write music for uh, the bass players as well. And, and also the piano players, but I, I write most, most of the music on the piano. it depends on the people you play with and the personalities but uh, to me it's it's been a really positive thing to to know uh, how the instruments work and, and, and play most instruments when I write for them as a classical composer ID. between uh, the last album uh, with its Scala and, and the new album Midwest is uh, that uh, in, in Scala I, I wanted to spend a lot of time in the studio just make a classical studio album work a lot with each line work with the, each, each instrument in the studio and, and also use studio techniques like uh, work more with reverb and, and technical possibilities you have in a studio. On Midwest uh, I wanted to go a, a, a new direction and that's kind of my, my uh, starting idea of making an album. I want to go a new direction than the last one. So then we, uh, I wrote more music like the folk music, more acoustic music, not that much electric music that we did on Scala. But more folk oriented music and I brought in a violin player, the best folk music violin player in Norway, Jan Larsen. And uh, then we could do a more acoustically um, folk album. From the 60s in Norway we had some really, really uh, strong musicians like Jan Garbarek and Terje Riptal and John Christensen and Ari Andersen who got a, a pretty large audience because of the German record label ECM. And uh, they were really, really heroes for us kids growing up in the 80s and 90s. And then we wanted to keep some of this spirit as well, bringing the lyrical idea from Edward Grieg, our classical composer, and also uh, the lyrical ideas from the folk music into our interpretation of the jazz music. And that makes it more personal, in, in my view, viewing it. And, and more, uh, it, it kind of makes it more uh, authentic for us to play music in a tradition that was made in the south of the United States. If we, if we are doing it with our own voice. So that's, that's the reason why I, I've, I've chosen to go that path in a way.